Jesus. I haven't played this game since the beginning of the month. That's crazy. Alright, what's my next quest? Nothing? <laughs> I've got nothing to do. Alright. Oh, I lied. Attend flying class. Well, where where is my flying class? You need to learn to pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Professor Sharp's aside. Shit, my bad. I'm sorry. I keep smacking the shit out of my mic. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire Maxima and Edoras potion. Use them simultaneously. Unless I uh, run out of things to do. I, I, I honestly might just need to get the pulse. So I'll go here just because it's... It's just kind of easy to go there. Alright, flying class. We're actually going to need to learn how to fly a broom today. That's That actually sounds awesome. I just love it when I just take a nap, just waiting for class to start. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! That's it? That seems incredibly easy. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. I forgot I have different robes on. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Where am I going to? Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. This Do is take care. The brooms are school I property. I my own broom. I want them returned in one piece. Oh, that was actually really easy. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Yeah, sure. What, what is it? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What have you? Wow, okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Wow. Get to see the whole school from around here. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Why are all these random rings just around the school? Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <sighs> so wait, there's just a, a friggin' kraken under your sea and none of you are concerned? Oh, well done! Have a moment? Uh, yeah, why not? I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? 
Uh, yeah, why not? I say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. A detour where? About to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Wow. Not that I've been here Let's multiple times. Doctor isn't having tea by the window today. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Part what? <laughs> There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Pine dips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Looks like he's already just lit far. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you. You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. I just wish we hadn't gotten into trouble, but yeah, it was. I have no regrets. I don't know. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble, and Kugawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Okay, so flying class is done. Guess I should go and do Depulso. See, I have to acquire and use a focus potion. Well, where's the uh, potion classroom? Want to go to potions just to that says I have to acquire it but what do I need to make it I've not forgotten about our library venture how did you fare if you're keen for some illicit spell practice meet me outside the defense against the dark arts classroom I know a discreet place near there wait hold on where I swear to fucking god these gigantic friggin uh uh, flies are annoying as shit. Okay, acquire a and use a focus potion. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. I need ashwinder eggs and mongrel fur. Damn it. All right. Well, they said it was one of the places in Hogsmeade I can get the the sh stuff to make it. I'm going to go there right now. This is not where I meant to go. I'm I'm an idiot. Hogsmeade's over here. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Hello. Be with you in a bit. Okay, let's see. Uh, what did I need again? All right, I want to get 
fluxuate stem. Just give me one of those. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Um, I thought there was one more thing. Ashwinder eggs and mongrel fur. Welcome. Do you let me know if I can be of any assistance at all? A Celtic glister scarf? I'm sorry? Let me see this thing. Is it good? Oh, wow, that's actually pretty good. That looks stupid. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll wear it. She doesn't look that stupid, I guess. What can I do for you today? I want some of these. A wise decision. And was it... What was the other thing? Oh, I think I already bought it, right? Wasn't it, uh... No, I need that mongrel fur. Is that it? Uh, oh, it's only... Oh, come on. Well, you can have that. I'm not going to use it. Good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. A wise decision. Thank you. All right. Now that's done. Let's head back to Hogwarts. Oh, it was a library annex. That's it. All right. There we go. Maxima perp. I have to purchase that. Okay. Wish I knew that. And a focus potion. I have to purchase that too. Okay. So unless I like sell all the stuff I'm not gonna not gonna wear. I guess I'll sell you the stuff I'm probably never gonna wear. Like uh you can have that. Okay, so I need fo oh that's way out of my range. Okay. Five hundred for maxima. I want the maxima oh, potion. Decision. Thank you. Then to make a maxima potion, I need what? Leech juice and a spider fang. Which I can get the spider fang. Oh, wise decision. Then I need hundred and guess a good way to get some money. Guess we could come back. Let's do the room of requirement. Which is with Professor Weasley. Thank you. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm. He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Oh my. Evanesco? Huh. I did not know that was a spell. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those. Can go over here for right now. Thanks. 
excellent work. Wow, okay. You are, you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? How should I know? I'm not the elf. Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Uh, okay. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. No. Sorry, it's not how it works here. It isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Jesus. Bit offended the room thought I needed to... Needed a bath, a cheeky thing. Um, okay. Whoa. Jeez. How, how does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? I don't know what. What was it? I don't know. I thought it was a dragonfly. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Oh. What's going on here? Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with I look forward to seeing what you do with the space ah and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description excellent it can identify unfamiliar items of clothing oh you always understand the effect of anything in which one is clothed okay this will be more useful when I have something to identify. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. 
I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Oh, I get to make my own shit? That's cool. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Huh. Okay. All right. Send that here. Um, potions. Potting table, uh... Huh. And I need to conjure a potting table, too. Right there. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. I probably Deep have. here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I'd like to know more about Deke. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use transfiguration magic anywhere? Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Thank you, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Alright, so the room of requirement is done. Let's see, um... Interior decorating. Uh, so those are all side quests. So I guess the last thing I really should do today is in the shadow of the Undercroft, which I'm not entirely certain what that means. But I at least get to learn a new spell. I get to learn Confringo. Now let's, uh, let's go do it. Where is that exactly? In the astronomy wing? Okay. Oh, hey, you're right here. Hey, bud. Kind soul, help me. Shut your mouth. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. 
What's the Undercroft? There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Oh. Is that what these are? What, you're not gonna follow me in, dude? Alright. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He Ominous Gaunt. We used to play golf zones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. Rebellia. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Huh. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. <laughs> Do you mean like Avada Kedavra? Is that what you mean? I mean, it does sound dangerous, don't get me wrong. It's called blasting, like... <laughs> it sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon you using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Well, okay. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Confringo. It's a red one, so it's bad. Or it's like a f meant for fighting. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Oh yeah, give me one second. Is it? Yep. Damage? Well, this doesn't Six sound like. targets though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendium. Oh, really? Nice work. Ooh. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get it. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. Didn't realize Confringo was similar to a fire spell. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. It's almost too much. The glass does heat things up. I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. 
I'd be glad to. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Will uh, do. Up, I'll send you an owl. The, the, the will do. Alright, let's get out of here. How did you come up with a name like The Undercroft? Hello, Wait. Oh, you um. Can. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Uh... Uh... Sebastian, show me? Okay. You are an idiot! <laughs> Actually, Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. I, I, I promise not to say trust anything. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Okay, I'm out here. <laughs> Shut your mouth! You know what? Screw you! Apparently that doesn't work. God damn it. I just don't have fucking money. The altering spell? I need to acquire a focus potion and use it. Well, if I get money, which I don't have any of that, then where are these? I mean, those don't actually look as stupid. Oh, wow. That, that raises my defense up, like, a lot. You know what? I'll hold on to these. Um, I think what I should do now... I'm gonna go to Hogsmeade, and I'm gonna I'm gonna sell a couple things, maybe a thing. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Uh, I want you to buy this from me, and I think I can get I can get the leech juice, which then I'm gonna go to. Back to Hogwarts. I'm gonna go to potions 
and this is the what mag mag maxima potion so that i'd be halfway done oh wow i already had a spider fang i could have just spent my money on something else ah oh, great how long is it? 30 seconds all right that's not too bad All right, no, no, yeah, I got my Edoras Potion and Maxima Potion. Which, what did that um, quest say I had to do? And use them simultaneously, okay. Oh, okay. So, Maxima. All right, use that, and then Oh. Well. Um. Okay. So now the only thing I gotta use. I gotta get a focus potion. And that's it. Acquire and use a venomous tentacula. Okay. How do I get one of those? That way I can get Wingardium Leviosa. Why? <sighs> Professor Garlic is the um. She's the herbology teacher. Why would she teach me that? And again, he's the potions teacher. Why would he teach me Depulso? Ah, whatever. Anyways, I think that's enough time for right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do hit that like button, bell button, share button, and subscribe button. I'll see y'all next time. Have a great day.